Hey everybody, Chris here. Well, with the price of Dogecoin going up with the news of Elon Musk buying Twitter and then coming back down, a lot of people are wondering, when's a good time to buy Dogecoin? We're going to explore that in this video. Now, some people will say any time is a good time to buy Dogecoin. And those that have a longer term view and think Dogecoin is going to the moon, that is true. However, when you get around to buying Dogecoin, you want to get it at the best price. And what is the best price? Well, as we've seen for the past day, Dogecoin's been rather flat, trading sideways. And I'll show you that on the charts. There are some indicators that say that Dogecoin's price is going to take off again sometime soon. There are other indicators, looking more at the overall crypto markets, that think Bitcoin is probably still going to dip some more before eventually going on its next parabolic run. So we're going to take a look at both of those extremes, as well as Dogecoin itself in the news that is starting to spur around Dogecoin. Excitement again, coming back to Dogecoin. That's all good. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate the support. And we're going to be exploring Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies along the way as we think there's going to be a lot more excitement coming for Dogecoin again throughout the summer. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the charts in the news. And I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we'll start by looking at the Dogecoin chart. Uh, this is what we have on the 30 minute. And this is looking back the past two days since selling back down after the big rise on Monday. This is sideways trading here, right around 14 cents. That's what Dogecoin has been doing for almost two days now. Just sideways trading as opposed to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been going up a little bit. Now this up a little bit, maybe another percentage or so over Doge. Just looking at the percentage over the past 12 hours, uh, Bitcoin up 1.2% and Dogecoin 0.2. So that's part of this. Bitcoin has been trading up and Dogecoin has remained rather flat. One of the things I look at is the, that relationship between Dogecoin and Bitcoin. Right now it's at 0.035%. And that 35 is much better than it used to be when it was below 30. But we saw over here with this big rise uh, when, when Dogecoin took off after the Twitter news with Elon Musk that uh, that, that relationship came up over 40 uh, couldn't hold though at 40 back down to 35. We could see that with Doge going coming back up though, but relatively flat again. Looking back at the daily, we take a look at where that relationship used to be down here at 28. So uh, again, that relationship between Dogecoin and Bitcoin is is important to look at because Bitcoin is still overall 40 percent of the overall crypto market and for the most part as bitcoin goes so goes dogecoin so thanks to ben cowan we take a look at this and this chart uh, he was showing on a video yesterday and this is the bitcoin price versus the dxy which is the united states dollar index now this is a logarithmic scale here is what these are based on but essentially what he's saying is every time there's a big rise in the, uh, the dollar index, that's, that's people getting out of more risky investments and investing in the dollar, that Bitcoin tends to go down. So we see that. We saw that in 2015. We see that in 2017. Dollar index goes down. Bitcoin goes up. So when they're going sideways, they tend to be you know, generally uh, even. But again, the dollar index goes down. We saw that in 2020. And look what Bitcoin did. Bitcoin went up on a, on a big parabolic run up to an all time high. So what's happening right now? Right now, the dollar index is parabolic again, going up fast. What has Bitcoin done? Bitcoin essentially hasn't dropped down that much. I mean, yeah, you look at its all-time high of 69 and where it is at 39, that's a big drop. Uh, but on a logarithmic scale, 
it isn't huge in terms of overall, like crypto winter, the bottom is falling out of Bitcoin. However, as this uh, dollar index is still continuing to go up, a lot of the Bitcoin uh, people who are, who are watching the price of Bitcoin think that that is a bad sign for Bitcoin and that we could see over the next couple months, Bitcoin's price drop down. And if that happens, then the price of most other cryptos is also going to drop. So that's an indicator that, that uh, a number of, of different uh, crypto analysts are looking at between uh, the dollar index and Bitcoin. But what does this mean? This means eventually that the dollar index is going to come up to whatever its high is on this on this scale 105 110 maybe even 115 who knows uh, eventually that's going to turn around and when that turns around and it drops then this wherever bitcoin drops to if that if it does and goes through some kind of accumulation period that bitcoin most likely would go on another big run. So that's what a lot of people are targeting uh, when they're looking at, at this difference and looking at what's going to be happening going forward. For Dogecoin, Coindesk has this article about whale transactions. On Monday, what we saw with this Twitter news is huge whale activity on Dogecoin. A lot of of accumulation and buying of Dogecoin happening. We see this big spike right here in the number of large transactions. And that was on Monday, April 25th. So Dogecoin is getting the attention of whales. Maybe even institutions are, are buying Dogecoin again. So that's the Coindesk article. But with that, also news getting out there, not only about Twitter, but all this talk about Dogecoin leads some of these other uh, websites like How to Geek. What is Dogecoin? We know what Dogecoin is, right? but there's a lot of people who don't know what Dogecoin is. And there's a lot of people who don't really know cryptocurrencies and are just coming into the market. And so articles like this, What is Dogecoin? is introducing new potential buyers to Doge, what Doge is, what it's about, and why you might want to buy some Doge. Uh, also, then here's a Forbes article, how to buy Dogecoin. So again, a, a, a new article, and this goes into a little bit of background about Dogecoin, but more recently about Elon Musk and Twitter. Again, new people coming into the crypto market and what did we see last year? We saw most of them were buying Dogecoin. Most people who buy their first cryptocurrency, it tends to be Dogecoin more than anything else. So uh, so that's what's going on. It Again, once you start seeing these articles, you see a lot of interest in, uh, in Doge, uh, which leads to more new buyers, which could propel the price up. You have to weigh that versus this Bitcoin thing and whether Bitcoin is going to be dropping or not over the summer if this dollar index keeps going up. So that's kind of what you as a potential buyer of more Dogecoin or new Dogecoin, if you're a new buyer, have to think what's going to be a good price for me to get in at uh, buying Doge. So buying Dogecoin. Where do you want to buy Dogecoin? I personally buy Dogecoin on Binance.us. There's a link in the description below. Uh, I like that as a trading platform. Uh, it's available in most states in the US. I also have Webull as, a, as, a, as an app on my phone. And I like Webull because it has some good charts if you just want to use your phone and app. Uh, you can buy on Binance.us. They do have an app as well. But I don't like the charts on Binance.us app. Uh, I think their charts are much better on a computer, and I think you have more control over your limit buys and sells and looking at uh, the charts and the price action between Dogecoin and other coins all on the Binance platform. 
But Webull is a good place too. Uh, if, you, if you've got a phone and a phone app, and I have a link in the description below for Webull, where if you buy uh, any cryptocurrency uh, with new funding, you're going to be getting $5 worth of free crypto. Could be Dogecoin, could be Sheeb. That's up to you. You also get two free stocks. And if you don't like those stocks that you get, you sell those. When the money clears, you buy some more Dogecoin. So buying Dogecoin is a good thing. Uh, we know that there's going to be this increased use of Dogecoin as currency. So having Doge in a wallet, always a good idea. Get it off the exchanges, getting it into wallets. I use a trust wallet for mine, uh, as well as an Exodus wallet. That's where most of my Dogecoin is held. And through these wallets, you can transfer Doge very easily at a low cost. That's all good. Of course, Robinhood now has its so-called wallets, and it's even cheaper to transfer Doge off of Robinhood than it is off of other exchanges. So you make that call of where you want to do your trading. I can I recommend Binance.us if you're in the United States. Give it a try. Link in the description below. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. When is a good time to buy Dogecoin? And are you waiting for a dip to buy more or are you just buying? Give the video a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.